Well, and welcome to my channel. This short video is on a battery charger, 240 volt battery charger I bought to replace the one in my caravan that I fear is burnt out. Um, not charged the lithium battery, the lithium battery's drained, been drained twice. Uh, so I put an isolator on the battery and it still wouldn't charge after that. So um, I'm going to try a different one. So I'll show you what's in the box. I already used it once, so I'll just show you what's in the box and the one I'm replacing it with uh, for your own information. Um, don't expect everybody to go out and buy it. Um, it's just what I do. So um, I'm just showing you what you can get for your money. Okay, this is what I decided to get, which is called a Pro 600L. It's a smart charger, maintainer and rejuvenator. Now it covers all those battery types down there, which is lead acid, AGM, calcium, SMF, EBF, gel, wet and lithium LF, LIFE PO4 batteries. So it's a 6 amp charger. Now that one I've got in there is a 25 amp charger so it, it's intelligent it's versatile it repairs it's safe i've just had a start stop at the moment so three charges in one maintenance mode so you can maintain your batteries silent charge mode and rapid charge mode and it brings dead batteries back to life now the one I've got in there is a Victron 1225 waterproof smart charger and I fear it's burnt out because it's definitely not putting any charge out. So this is what I'm going to be doing, um, I, I, I'm going to replace it with that. So I'll unbox it now. So, I might be a bit shaky, I got you on my leg. I should have got a tripod out, I suppose. So what you get in the box is you get the user manual. Owner's manual, user manual. It's pretty basic to use. It tells you on the front here. what to do and on the back it's also got some other settings it's a bit hard to see but there are all the settings on the back here as well so what happens is you plug it in they have a waterproof connection on there you just pop that off that you get the other end you've still got a twisty on it you pop that one off and you connect one to the other it only goes in one way like that now you're ready to go. Okay, so orange or red, red is, is, a, is, a, is a positive, black is negative. Now, if you want to have it connected straight to the battery, all you do is undo the, these screws here. See those screws there? You undo them and you've got a, 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 an eyelet terminal. And that's what I'm going to be doing, but I've already used this once. To see how it works to charge a dead king's l l i f e a life force battery which is a lithium battery 120 amp hour lithium battery back to fully charge in a day and a half could have been quicker but i checked it a day and a uh, over that time and it was still charging a little bit just under a day later so 
Um, yeah, so it should put 13.8 volts back into the lithium battery. So that's the size there, it's the size of my hand. It's about oh, 200, not quite, 200 long, probably about 75 mil long, wide. Eight, Yeah, probably 80 mil wide, um, and probably about 50 mil, 60 mil high. Don't think it's waterproof, um, but it's going inside my carrier, so I didn't want it waterproofed. So. What you do is you can get under there the mode and you select whichever battery it is. It'll come on AGM probably and I put it onto lithium here by pushing the select button and I just push start. Now because I've used it once it should come automatically on the lithium battery and that's what I'm hoping it is going to do. So I'm going to show you what I have now because that's what I'm replacing it with. That's the one I'm replacing it with. I'll just go down a quick close up. Victron Energy 1225 IP56 charge. Now it smells burnt. The closer I'm getting to it. So, um,. I want a maintenance charger that I can leave on all the time when I go say to a caravan park half this caravan runs on battery half it runs on 240 so I want to be able to just turn a battery charger on use the 12 and the 24 and not worry about it so it is if I go off road at least I know I can use the, the 12 volt um, but the power points will let it run on 240 the and the fridge is on 240 or gas or battery the heat is the same but generally I just use this, this, the low voltage things on the battery and my battery box is just there beside it so it's on the outside accessible to the outside only but that's what I'm going to be replacing it with just got to get out of here now and take these slats off it's under the, the bunk or the settee in the corner. This is just my electrical area. It was like this when I got it. I'm going to tidy it up um, once I'm finished with it. But I've got to sort some wires out. There's stuff everywhere. I just finished putting this isolator in there. You can see the terminal going on it. So I can isolate the battery whenever I'm not using it. Um, it is still plugged in most of the time. 240 so I can select the 240 like the aircon is running now and um, I'm going to tidy all this up once I get this going so that's what I'm replacing it with that one there I forgot to mention that the um, the lead is fused which is this one here that's got a fuse on it just there so, um, yeah, so it's fused, also has reverse polar polarity de detection, and um, they also have these plugs on the ends, as I say, which if you're not using it like this, you can just seal them up and pack it away. But at the moment, it's going to be in there like that, permanently, hooked up to this the, the uh, buzz bar down here, which I'm going to move, don't like it, there it is, so I'm going to move it, um, another day, not today, but before I hook it up, and this is the old one, heavy as lead. IP67 
I just have a feeling it's burnt. Yeah. Anyway, it definitely wasn't charging, and the new one is, so... It lit, lit up, the lights lit up on it. Saying it had power, and then it was charging, rapid charge, and a slow charge, and a steady charge, and it went off. But it just didn't put any power back into the battery, so... Going through the motions, but not charging. So that's why I went to something different. Which is that one there. Yeah, that one there. That's what I got onto now. Battery will sold it. They were um, $249. Um, but at the moment, they're $179. Thought I'd give it a go. Six air, six amps is not a lot of charge, but yeah, what's this drawer on it? A few lights and things, and occasional maybe a microwave or something running on it, but on the battery. But a six amp charge and the trickle charge, and, a, and you can charge it when you're driving the car, and charge it with solar blankets or battery. So there's many, many different ways of charging this battery up. And I have an alternator as well, a 1 kVA alternator. So I can charge the battery up many different ways, so this is just to help when I go to caravan parks and things like that, so. Mm. Well, the voltage of the battery is 13.4. And this is the um, unit here, plugged into the power point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on and you can see what happens. It all lights up and then it says it's charging which is the blue light. And it's on lithium, so I don't have to set it, which is good, is what they told me in the shop. So that's what I want to do is turn it on and, and charge it. Yeah, I'll just repeat that. As soon as, as, soon as I've, I've set it, you can leave it set to what, it, what you want. You don't have to change it, which is good. This is what I wanted. So it's set to lithium. Um, it's set to charge it's on a rapid charge. Now it will cycle, as I said, and charge. It's a six amp hour charger. Uh, I did stop the battery, as I said the other day. It was dead flat, and um, I uh, charged it up. It was under the caravan. It was raining. It's not waterproof, but um, I turned it off. Um, and I was going to install this permanently. So, blue light is charged. It will tell you if there's a fault. And it will go to full. You can select the current if you want to put in um, 1 amp, 4 amps. So, once it's full, I'll probably just select a, the one amp, and it says it's full, it's flashing. I assumed it was full, it was, it was on just over a day, so it should have been pretty close. Fourteen volts. So it says it's full. 
So what I might do is put it onto a maintenance charge, which is select down to one. So I just push the select button for the uh, one amp charge to trickle charge it in. Very easy to use. I'm quite happy with it actually, um, compared to that other one. You can select charges and things, whatever you want to do. So, yeah, I was in the process of tidying this up. It's a bit tidier. I'll put two more buzz bars in here, there, and there. That's the other one on there, one there from Jayco. That's the King's adhesive DC, DC charger here. Um, yeah, and the battery is over there. Batteries in here behind that panel. That's the isolator I put in under the under there near beside the battery. This is the power in. Um, yeah, the power's the carrier 240 volts. And all this mess of wire here, I don't know. It's all original, all comes from the fuse panels here. It does the heaters and the and the uh, hot water system and the toilet flush, the hot water pump, various battery lights through the place. Yeah, so that's it there. And so blue light is charging and then it says it's full and you can select lithium or whatever battery you have and you can select the charge you want okay well, i hope that explains everything i hope you like this video if you do please subscribe and give me a thumbs up cheers